Hey guys, John here. To close out our industrial acid week, this one is going to be called the stutter voice. And this is the sound that we hear in the uh, in the kind of the main drop where the 303 comes in and everything's kind of big. And this sounds almost like a stuttering robotic type of voice in the background. So this is where it comes in, this little section right over here. So take a listen to that. And soloed, it would sound something like this. And if we played the just uh, played this pass by itself, it almost has a formant type of filter. And as you can see, we're actually not using the formant filter at all. We're using this with the harmonic engine. So when you load this thing up, our default engine that we're going to be mainly generating this sound, this vocal sound, is going to be engine number two. You're going to see that engine number one is off, but it's kind of on standby. So what this second end or this first engine is, is kind of just more so a uh, a texture, a little bit more dirt to it. Has nothing really to do with the stutter vocal. That's going to be the second engine. So this is going to be our meat and potatoes here. So this is really the one that we want to talk about. So. Like I said, we're going to be in the harmonic stuff. So let's turn off some of these effects here for our uh, external stuff here, which I believe we already have off. Okay, cool. So we have some effects going on here. We just have some unison, some distortion, and some panning. So we can leave these on for now because if we don't, it's going to be very quiet. It's going to be kind of hard to hear it. So these effects aren't really contributing too much to the sound generation, more just kind of a little sauce on everything. So... Let's go over to our harmonic engine here. So we're not doing any changes as far as the course pitch here. What we're basically doing is for our partials, we have 128. So that's really all that we need to generate this sound. You could do more if you'd like, but 120 is pretty good. And you shouldn't want to crank up your CPU too much if you don't need to. So our shape over here, we're going to be using this like low pass or uh, high pass. And then the low pass, we're going to have the both of these checked on to kind of cut off that, si that sound there. For this first shape here, it's going to be this bipulse. And the second one is going to be this notch. And the notch is kind of really where it kind of comes in handy. And uh, yeah, so moving on from that, we have our tilt is going to be at 0 0.304. Parity is going to be 50 odd, 50 even. Depth is going to be 200%. And this is going to be the interesting spot here. This is kind of where the magic happens. This section over here is getting modulated by this random modulation right here by 0 0.06. So a very, very, very tiny amount. But this is what kind of makes the whole thing. So we have our sound, right? If we turn this off. You get the type of vocal sound a little bit, but you don't really get that stuttering effect, and that's really done with is random. So let's take a look at this random and see what's going on here. So this is random number one. Now we're gonna be on the touring. The rate is going to be at 31.2 hertz, and the flip is in the center at 50%. The length is at four, and the retrig is gonna be legato keyboard. So we drag this over to the selection here, and we modulate it just a little bit, and the, the section, the value is going to be negative 0 0.472 and the modulation amount, like I said, is 0 0.06. So that tiny, tiny little bit amount is really going to drive this one home. So some of this other stuff, this is going to be on window. The position is going to be at one, the gain at zero. This over here is going to be zero. Window size is at one. So kind of, uh, yeah, just match those settings there. The ratio one, the amount is going to be 0.216. And volume all the way to the top for the partials and for the output is going to be 0.589. And again, this is going to be kind of mixed with the first engine if you want to do it that way. But keep in mind, we're using two harmonic engines and that can, that can be a little bit CPU intensive. So something to think about. This is going to filter number one. So that's basically engine number two in a nutshell. Let's turn this one off and look at the first one. Very, very similar stuff that we're doing here as we kind of like go back and forth and kind of look at them. Not really too much has changed. A little bit of these of these knobs here, but let's just go over these just in case you were curious. Position one, gain zero, wind size one. This one over here, zero ratio is going to be one. The amount is going to be zero. And this is on some macros here, which we'll talk about in just a second there. And then we have tilt offset one, tilt 0 0.2 or minus 0 0.2 parity is going to be 86 odd 14 percent even the depth at 200 the section at minus 0 0.232 and the morphs all the way to the left on spectrum a so yeah the split here uh it's going to be a little bit to the left 12 percent left 88 right the even uh 69 to the left and 31 to the right for this first one and this is using 512 partials so a little bit more than the first one So like I said before, this engine first one is kind of more so a uh, a texture. 
And the only macros that we're going to be using are two and three, as we can see these highlighted here, which is going to be the pitch and the FM amount. So let's take a listen to that. And if we go inside our macros here, we can see this is going to be the, uh, it's kind of hard to read, but I think it says H01 ratio. And we know that if we click here, we can see right over here on this ratio, we can see this is going to be the range that it has. And we can drag our mouse over it as well, and you can see that it is at 1. And if you mouse your mouse over, you can kind of see what's quickly modulated, which is really nice in Pigments in case you do something. You're like, oh, where did that modulation go? Oh, okay, there it is. Then it's it's really nice too. So this number three is going to be the FM, which is going to be right over here on the, on the amount. By default, when it's down, it's going to be zero. And as we increase this... So yeah, that's kind of how uh, how that works over there. So uh, like I said, this first engine is kind of for the texture, doing some weird stuff to it that kind of enhances this stutter type of voice. Now, both of these engines are going to filter number one, and filter number one is just a multi-mode, and we're just cutting off some low end at 82.2 hertz, and that's pretty much it. So now comes the effects right over here. So the first one is going to be this really cool stereo pan, and this kind of just moves things left and right throughout the stereo field. And this is going to be at 14.3 hertz. The amount is 0 0.438. It's going to be a natural. Mono bass and invert are going to be off. Then it goes to the two distortion modules. Exponential. The drive is all the way at 48.0. Dry wet at 50%. And then it goes to another distortion for tape. That's going to be dry 48 uh, dB. And then the dry is going to be 50. And then at the very end here, we have some extra super unison. Because before you couldn't add unison on top of the harmonic engine. All the other engines had their own unison, except the harmonic engine, which kind of felt it was left out. But they decided to put unison as an effect, which is really awesome because it makes the harmonic engine a lot more fun to work with because you can put unison in there. So and that's why this one comes very last in the chain. The dry wet's going to be 50%. Voices is going to be 5. Detune, 18.8. The rate, 0 0.350. Stereo width, 1. HP frequency, 250. And the low pass, 20K. So with that being said, before I used to actually use chorus to kind of cheat it a little bit. And it worked pretty decently. But with the super unison now here, it's kind of it kind of has upgraded this, this patch using stuff with the harmonic engine. So if you'd like to get this patch for free, you totally can. There's a link in the video description below, and you can download it and install it. If you're confused with installing it, check out the uh, the long pigment series that we've been doing. If there's anything in the synth that's confusing to you, there's a super long course we've all been working on, and that is, I think, video 40, something like that now, where we're just go through everything with this synth because it's such an awesome, th awesome tool. So with that being said, let's play this out with Stutter Voices. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this uh, different little uh, week here was a little cooler. I thought it might have been fun to do a whole week of just kind of focusing on one core thing, one cohesive piece of music, kind of just picking out different little elements here. Because aside from this 808 here within Flex, everything else is done within Pigments. So yeah, even the kick, snare, hat, cymbals, all that is all just made within Pigments. So, And like I said on one of the other videos, if you guys are curious about kick drums or snare drums, hats or claps or cymbals or anything like that within Pigments, please let me know because Pigments makes it really cool to do that with a lot of options to, uh, to change. So with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.